Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Nova Arcana, Untold Stories number 7 by RenderXR. We are back in the Great Web, where last time we were bamboozled, we went up and we found what appeared to be the place to get the objective, and instead it was just a trick. There's a skeleton on top of this building, and I wish to shoot him. Aha! He's been shot. All right, mission accomplished. It appears that I accidentally dropped off some ancient debris. There was also some good loot on top of one of these towers that I want to go back for. Oh, there's like a bridge over here that I never even bothered noticing or crossing previously. So perhaps this could be a good way to go. Uh, ben Recluse, you're just going to leave a poison trail, which I don't mind too much because I need to patch up the bridge anyway. Uh, since the last episode, I got some netherite leggings. I repaired my chest plate, but I downgraded my boots uh, because I just didn't have the resources to get totally re-equipped on armor. Uh, but in due time, in due time, everything will be nice. I could just run through this poison. I think I'm going to do that because I think we have enough protection on the armor that a little bit of poison is not going to deal that much damage. All right. We at least got rid of that spawner, and this area is safe to come and stand for just a moment. All right, there's a lot of poison in those poison clouds, though, so be careful. That is my advice to you if you happen to also be playing this map. So presumably there's something over here? I guess there's a tower building over here that I haven't gone into that doesn't look like it had... Oh, uh, there's like a whole, whole building on the side over here that I didn't really pay any notice to. There's definitely still objectives back over in that direction that we need to return to, but for the moment, since I am standing here, and I hear what is definitely going to be some more creepers riding cave spiders, and that was a creeper getting suffocated by the cave spider he was riding, so I think I've had enough. Oh crap! <laughs> All right had enough of always taking the fun path, and I was going to try to go to the top, and then I heard the creeper, and I didn't see him, and panicked. And so fortunately... Oh no, we don't! Right, I don't have any uh, feather falling on these boots anymore. I was going to say, fortunately, we have feather falling, but that is a complete lie. Also, why did I use blocks instead of scaffolding in that instance? Scaffolding would have been so much superior, because I could have climbed back up very easily. Also, this building is a mess. Render, who's your architect? I demand to speak to him. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. A little, little bit of poison never hurt anybody. It's a lie, of course. It hurt me very much just moments ago. Um, so I don't know why I say such things when they're total lies. Um, okay, this appears to be the top of this tower. I think I can reach this chest from here. And this time, rather than ignore the loot, I do actually want some diamonds. Um, diamond sword. I don't think I'm going to take the diamond pants because I'm wearing netherite pants. I've got a bunch of unbreaking books already, uh, so that's not really important. The bricks are nice, so we'll top off some bricks. And actually, the uh, those things are nice. Oh, and there's even a netherite scrap in here. Okay, that's the most valuable thing, perhaps. There's even shears with... Oh, wow! Shears with efficiency and unbreaking. Those could cut through cobwebs. Okay, that was a piece of loot I was totally not expecting to find in one of these chests. And that's actually pretty good. I don't think we've ever had a sword or shears with efficiency given to us in this map. And I did not bother to... I think I might even put those on the bar instead of the enderpearls. They're going to get me out of the same situation, which is getting stuck in a web that you need to desperately get out of. Let's actually try them out. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice and fast. And even from inside the web... Uh, you could use these to cut yourself out. So that's actually quite good. Glad we got that. Okay, so... Do I want to do new stuff or do I want to do old stuff? I think at this point I'm in the mood to return to some of the old stuff. So let's go try to find some of the ancient debris that we left behind. And... Also, check out the loot that I didn't bother looking at that was on top of the uh, witch tower over here. So let's see, the witch tower I think was somewhere further in the back. Yeah, it was that tall one over there. Oh, right, and there's still the cemetery that we still have to come back and loot. Although, I'd only seen money in the cemetery thus far. So, 
That one seems less of a priority. And where is the witch tower? Was it this building? Uh, it might have been. Let's climb this one and see if there is a single treasure chest at the very top. That looks like it might have recently been sitting next to a witch spawner. Yep. Oh, there's a diamond chest plate in here and more of those shears. Amazing. Uh, and more netherite scraps and a gold apple. And some books that... Uh, Protection 3 is actually a worthwhile book. Do I have room for it in my inventory? Yes. Great. Okay. Um, so, probably up at the old objective is where we left the other scraps. I could always get them off camera because it's very peaceful up there, given all the work that we have done. I believe I've been to the top of this building. Um... There is a gas spawner up there. I don't immediately see a reason for there to be one up there, but it almost looks like there might be a chest or something crazy going on over there. Can I throw an ender pearl all the way up there? I'm not sure that I could. Let's try using scaffolding instead. So if I were to do something along these lines, I think that would get me plenty high enough. So let's start there and see if we can get a better look at this gas spawner who is now in range of spawning and is going to destroy my scaffolds. So maybe I want to spawn one of them. <laughs> he might not have a lot of room to spawn though. Oops. And if I could get like over into the wall somewhere. Oh crap, I found him. <laughs> I took a little bit of a fall there. I might be dead. Uh, water. Uh, more water, please. I need to get down here. Okay. Very mean. Do not like. Do not want. Uh, what are these crazy flowers? Have I seen these before? Um, I must know about the flower now. It is... A wither rose. I don't know what a wither rose is, but it's a new to me flower, so that's always fun. Um, for the healing, I'm just going to do the second golden apple. Wither roses. All right. And I heard silverfish. I don't know that I saw the silverfish. Um, and I would like to have yeah some of my scaffolding back. So, Gas has gotten himself stuck in some webs in the ceiling, it looks like. So we'll get rid of him. Um, I basically made no progress getting up there. And I guess the silverfish are probably like caught on one of the outside ledges of this place or something. Might be able to see him over here. Or might not. Uh, let's see. I didn't get a good look to see if the Gas was actually defending anything over there. It seems like he might be. Uh, so I do want to take another stab at this. And now that we just spawned one, uh, oops, hopefully I'll have more time to get over there. Wither roses do wither damage when you stand on them. Interesting. So they're like a thing that can be planted on the ground and do that. Yeah, there's a number of things about Minecraft that I still don't know. I'm going to do one more of these to heal all the way back up. and then get some blocks, and then start building. Oh, crap. OK. It's OK. And I didn't use the right tool, but that's OK. We're going to dig over into the wall over here, and then just get around to that gas spawner and see if there was something behind it. And I don't have any kind of good shovel tool on the person. So we'll just dig with what's at hand. Um, right, I have shears. They are on the bar. I could totally use them. Okay, there's the ghast. That actually worked out great. All right, so where is the spawner? Uh, right here. Great. We have plenty of time. Two. Really? Okay. To do that. Uh, there does appear to be something up here, at least some empty space. So this could be a good place to go. 
So under that assumption, let's go to there and figure out where there is. I hear an awful noise and it's this guy. The nadir dweller, I think. And there's multiple of them. Oh gosh, this is a really hard area. Like the monsters here are not fooling around. This is like all the hardest monsters we've seen in the map, basically. All right, I need to, actually I don't need to do that right now. I prefer to have the soul. Um, I didn't get to the nadir dweller. I think, yeah, I think I am sufficiently, desperate is a little bit too strong of a word, but I'm sufficiently worried that I'm actually gonna dig into the wall just to get behind the one nadir spawner that we saw over here. And it also gives me a chance to catch up a little of the chat. Yeah, we could almost give that ghast that we saw earlier, like a dental checkup. It was like looking right in his mouth. Okay, so somewhere right around here was the nadir spawner. I still don't see it. And he uses here. Oh, is this the objective? Sorry, but your princess is in another castle. I see. Okay. So now I understand what's going on. This is a total bamboozle area. Like, everywhere you turn, it's like, oh, look, it's the wool box, except it's not. Okay. So, my inference, which might be wrong, but my inference is that this whole area is not going to be worth our time. Uh, I think it was, I kind of came in the back entrance to that, but it's all leading up to the bamboozle. So, based on that inference, which may or may not be right, um, I'm going to switch directions, go back down my scaffolding and find a different direction to go. So this is going to be a thing. Yep, it is totally a thing. All right, and some of the scaffolding fell down to the ground, um, and I wouldn't mind having more of it, so I'll go try to pick some of it up. Uh, yeah, I'm totally capable of this. Aha! Did it. Okay, um, so where are other directions we could go? There was something else on the back wall that I was going to try to go to. There was like another big building over here, so let's try to check that one out. Don't immediately see anything that way. Uh, where was like the entrance to the big building over here? Was it higher up? Is there anything right here? Could be in the cemetery too. It'd be kind of dumb if you had to dig up every grave and one of them like leads to an underground dungeon, but at the same time, at this point on this map, like I wouldn't put anything past render. He has managed to casually violate a number of conventions in a way oh hello. I've been murdered. In a way that made the map interesting and challenging. So kudos render on that. Oh, hello, Blaze. Apparently you spawned right above me. Uh, speaking of above, let's try to go said direction. All right, and we're slowly gaining some soul again. Uh, Blade Spawner must have been right underneath there, I suppose. I don't want that creeper to blow up because he's standing next to some ancient debris. Uh, I do want this one to be gone and these as well. Uh, he blew up, but he didn't blow up the debris. I don't have any idea what type of um, blast resistance that particular block has. And let's see, do I have any of it in my inventory right now? I do not. So let's go ahead and eat a rabbit stew, which I should have done earlier. And then I can throw this out and that out and actually pick up this block. There we go. Oh, there's a diamond chestplate here. I probably want that. Probably more than some torches or something. Uh, yeah. Oh, protection three and thorns. It's actually a good diamond chestplate. Uh, I think I still prefer the one that I'm wearing, but that one doesn't suck. So that must have been in the uh, unlabeled chest there that got blown up by the creeper. And I'm fairly certain that the blade spawner has got to be like right below me right here. 
That said, Brian's idea of fairly certain is not always a true statement of fact. All right, I'm not sure where that blaze spawner is. So we'll have to do a little bit more investigating. Also, did I just see something here? No, that was just where the silverfish emerged from. Um, all right, so if I were a blaze from somewhere around here, where would I have come from? Also, why are there skeletons? Okay. He was somewhere right around here. Ah, on the ceiling. I see it now. Got it. Skeletons as well are falling out of the ceiling from various holes, such as this one. Got it. All makes sense. Uh, skeleton, you must die. And let's go up there and just break this. Uh, looks like it was just the one spawner right there. And the blaze spawner was in different holes. Which were like right here. And there's definitely going to be... Hmm, not right there though. Oh, he just spawned there and the spawner is like behind the wall. Okay. Not particularly sporting. So somewhere right in here, it's got to be the spawner, question mark. And I hear all kinds of spiders that were spawning from who knows where. So there is one there. Is there going to be a similar one over here? Or is that going to be the only one? That might be the only one. Uh, but then if I go in this direction, are we going to run into more of that? Or I got turned around. I might be headed in the opposite direction now. Also, I have spawned a gazillion spiders wherever they are. But yeah, I don't even know where I am at this point. So this is not worth doing. We're going to have a ton of spiders on the way out somewhere. Uh, some of them will eventually take fall damage when they just go chasing after me. And I don't see a quote-unquote proper way up. So I'm going to do this. It's probably something dropped by like the skeleton or the wither skeleton. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to run out the front door. I'm going to see if any spiders chase me, perhaps to their death, and try to ascertain just how tall this building is. So I was up on this floor. It definitely goes higher. There are a bunch of spiders up there who I can barely see. Uh, they don't see me, or they don't seem to be willing to try to track me across whatever type of barrier is there. They're just doing their dance. Can I hit them from here? I don't know that I can. There might be like a glass wall there. Should I climb up the outside of the building? I'm not sure. Also, how's my armor doing at this point? It's still holding in pretty well. All right. Ancient debris is pretty blast proof. In fact, it's TNT proof. Interesting. Thorns wouldn't last very long. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was just going like, to reduce the amount of time. Okay, I definitely don't need these in the bar. This should come back in the bar for the moment. I still have five minutes of like speed and resistance that I should be taking advantage of. There's a weird zombie walking around down there. Um, from the back of this building, I could bridge over to the top, so let's try doing that. And the back of that building means across this bridge, and across this bridge means coming from this side. So let's go that way and see if we can find a better way to the top of the building with all the spiders. And yes, I do see the diamonds over there, which I may go back for. And this one will go up to this height and then find out how many spiders are approaching. Definitely at least a couple. Hey. How rude. Um, I really can't place a block there. There we go. I think there was a spawner like right over here somewhere. I'm not entirely certain of that. All right, I think I might be a liar. Uh, and these spawners, or sorry, these spiders might be the ones that I spawned. Oh, might be the roof of this building. Spawned earlier when I was stuck inside the building. Okay, 
think I got him. Oh, right. I need to remember that I have these awesome shears and I should take advantage of them. Yeah, these shears are actually quite good. It's one of the best and least expected bits of loot that I've gotten in this place. Okay, I see spiders spawning right there with the smoke particles. So now at least we have located. The awful spawner, which seems to be spawning pretty frequently. There it is. It's got some light on it now. Ah, there's more than one. That explains the frequency. All right. And were there any others like caught up here? Yeah, not immediately obvious if there were. It sounds like there's still some spiders somewhere above me. But I guess this was just the roof of this building. And it doesn't look like there's anything else up here. Was there? Hmm. Was I in the level just below this? Let's actually dig through. Yeah, so I was down there and it doesn't appear that there's anything, there's any level in between. So it's not like I'm missing some interior to this portion of the building. And there's still one spider somewhere over here-ish. Yeah, there he is. All right, fantastic. Uh, still another spider somewhere. Let's not worry too much about every last spider in the map. Uh, so, this building turned up empty. Don't see any more gas spawners in the sky kind of dragging us somewhere. So where is the next place that I want to try to go? Question mark. I might have just seen a creeper possibly riding a spider, and so I want to take a better look at that before we hop down. What did I see? Oh no, it was a zombie. Uh, the creeper is over here, as a matter of fact. And given that he just fell, he either saw me or he spawned from a spawner right over here. Uh, he might have just spawned naturally on a ledge and fallen down. Eh, it's another creeper up here. Hold the phone. Yeah, there looks like there might be a hallway there, actually. I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing, but let's make our way over there. Uh, we'll use blocks. Blocks are cheap. It's a little bit of a pain to restock sometimes, although we did find some chests with some more blocks. So yeah, don't feel guilty about using blocks. Blocks are one of the best equipment in Minecraft. Okay, so there was a creeper here. It is not actually a hallway here. There is no sign of a spawner here. And from this vantage point... Ah... <sighs> Where to go, where to go. So the Great Web is the name of this location. Obviously it is a web, but it also could potentially be almost like a puzzle play on words and that like untangling the where to get the non-bamboozled loot, loot box uh, could also be considered a web. And I am not good. I'm like continually leaning over into my monitor. Oh crap. Okay, I hear the nadir dweller leaning over into my monitor to try to get a better look at different spots. All right. Not empty, it had loot. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's some kind of, oh crap. I didn't see exactly where he was, but I think I might've seen the spawner. Let's try to uh, get a better look. Yeah, the spawner's right there. Okay, oh crap, I'm in these. Um, I've spawned multiple of them. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to place some light, assuming that that's his spawner. And then I'm going to try to run out. All right, I found some more spider spawners as well. And there's a creeper behind me. But we just added light to another section, uh, which did have a path leading up to it. So if I've been paying attention to all the gravel paths, I should have known that that was there or coming. Uh, but clearly I've not been paying attention. Okay. So let's try to make our way back up here. And perhaps gather some souls as we do so. Uh, soul? Oh, I'm already full on soul. Good for me. And I had a better tool, but my muscle memory told me to do things that way. Okay, so where did the nadir dweller go? There he is. Okay, he missed. He missed again. Oh crap! I 
have bigger fish to fry. Okay. Let's deal with that. Okay. He is down. Let's deal with the spawner. Which is actually in obsidian now. Very rude. All right. Uh, but it does have... I hear that another one has spawned nearby. It does have some more loot for us. Uh, some of which is quite good. Um, gonna briefly look at all this stuff. I could always come back for... You know what? The boots are actually potentially going to be quite useful. Probably more so than the diamond sword. Oops. So I'm gonna do that. And then I don't really need to fight the other nadir dweller. And there is a path that I could be taking forward. So instead I choose that. Uh, he's still chasing me. Alright. You're a very persistent guy. Knockback is actually a disadvantage here. A grave disadvantage. Could have really hurt me. Uh, he does drop the um, bottles of enchanting, so that's at least nice. feel like I get some reward from that. Oh! Oh boy. Right. Come on. Own these shears. Please use them. I think he came from somewhere to the right. So let's attempt to discover where that hunter spider came from before we go downwards into this area, because I don't want more dropping on my head. I don't currently see his spawner, though. It's possible he climbed up from somewhere else, or it's possible he's behind me. All right, I see now that there was a place that I just went around the corner from, and that appears to be the place. Uh, well, ah, it is the place. I see it. Yeah, these spawners are especially well hidden behind all the cobwebs. Ah, uh, did I forget the scrap? It's quite possible. Oh boy. That sound is very surprising when all of a sudden they shoot it at you. And I'm still not sure how Render did that. It's very clever. Oh, hello, witch. How would you like to be knocked into there? Um, could have been better, but whatever. All right, you need to go. That was ouch. I know there's other bad guys, but right now we're focused on the witch, who I did not knock back into a very good location. All right. Uh, there is... That was not the smartest thing I've ever done. Let's see. It looks like we're falling into a kind of safe location right now, so I'm not too worried. Uh, but let's be careful. Uh, it's not as safe as I originally thought. Can I place water anywhere here? I can. Can I get my water back? Yes. Can I stand somewhere? Even better. Okay. Uh, I see that I'm spawning something. It's probably not good. This is a scary place to be falling down into. Uh, oh, I see bones. All right. I think this might be the non-bamboozle version of the objective. This is just what my spidey sense is telling me right now. It's definitely the case that I could be wrong. Uh, but rather than worry about that case, let's imagine the case where I could be right. How great would that be? The answer is quite great. But I am going to dig myself some kind of staircase where I could get back into the wall if I had to and try to get these guys on level ground so I'm not just falling into a complete mass of baddies. Hello, baddies. All right, so there's definitely some kind of spiders there. No great surprise. There's a witch somewhere, and I don't see the witch, and that's not good. So let's start placing some blocks around me so that I have some blocks to hide behind for projectiles from various directions until I actually see said witch. And let's also give ourselves some non-soul sand blocks on which to stand. We're doing so many things for ourselves here. I see the witch. Well, at least I saw where the projectile came from. I now actually see the witch. I'm taking too much damage. I also lost my way back into the wall. Uh, ah, it's because I didn't leave myself away. How clever. That is more sarcasm. It was not clever. It was the opposite of clever. Uh, let's do this. 
Let's eat another rabbit stew, because I believe that is worn off. Let's deal with the witch who's standing right in front of me now. Spidey sense, you see what I did there. See? I'm so clever. Alright, there's another witch. She hit herself with the poison this time, so that's good. There's another witch. And I need to get light down there. Soon. Don't have a lava bucket, and it might have been a useful thing in this area, but I did at least get a little bit of light. And I did not leave myself a very good way to get back there, though. And I really can't hold any more of those wonderful bottles of enchanting. I'd like to have them. Um, there we go. Okay. So I think I should just try to build my way out on bricks over to that spawner. So that is the thing we're going to do next after eating one more golden apple. Okay. I see that there's another spawner right here now. So I think I just got some more light there. So now that I know that, it might change my priorities. And let's go ahead and have another golden apple. We have lots of these guys, so I might as well use them. We're getting towards end areas of the map. And up until now, I would say that this map has just been kind of, I don't know, medium difficulty at best. But the difficulty really ramped up over here. I think I am going to try to, oh crap, go to the uh, center spawner still. I have almost infinite knockback resistance with all the netherite and things that I've got here, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I really want to get rid of that spawner. And then I'm gonna do oh crap, uh, this. And Creeper, help me out. Thank you. Very valuable Creeper there. Did me quite the solid. And now I can do this. All right. Scary, but survivable. Okay, and we made some progress. We got some light. We got a spawner broken. We probably hit some prime spawners on the other end. And we've got a couple of witches in a fight with one another. So all these are good things. Um, let's go ahead and drink one of these. So there's some souls here that I didn't get through fast enough, but well. And then I know there's a spider spawner right down here that I'm going to try to make my way to after I kill this guy. Uh, where was it? It's like right down here. There it is. Okay. Um, bones, bones, bones. There's another creeper. Uh, the witch has found me again. And the creeper's probably still heading my way, although he probably is. Slowed down by the cobwebs as I am. All right. Uh, how's my armor doing? It's still in fair shape. Uh, so we can continue. Uh, but it is getting dicey. I think I do need another golden apple. And I wish to get above this and just kind of get a look at what we've gone into at this point. I see, you could climb directly up and down this, I suppose. I hadn't thought about that. Um, still can't see signs of an objective. And given where that one spawner was kind of buried inside the bones, perhaps inside the bones, was it inside the bones? It's just kind of inside the floor. Um, perhaps that's a place that I can look for other spawners. Um, I think I will try to do that. I think there's a spider there, but I'm not hitting him. So I'm going to try to dig down through the wall in a different direction and see if we can find ourselves another spawner, if such things are possible. And I just screwed up my step down because my pick is just that good. So let's fix that up so that we have a nice staircase down. And now I think I could make a right turn and I'll come out about where I want to be. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's do this. Get rid of some easy spider webs. Okay, there's definitely a spider spawner over here somewhere. And I might even see it. Now I need to make a right turn. Yeah, so right here. Great. Hello, spider. I've come to break your spawner so that no more of you will appear. How do you feel about that? 
Yeah, the spider probably doesn't have a whole lot of emotions or attachments to his own spawner, I imagine. Of course, I'm just putting words into the mouth of the spider. Okay, it's actually gotten kind of quiet here now that we broke that spawner and that spawner and that spawner. There is another witch over here who doesn't see me. So let's see if we can use... The prankster is going to need some, uh, some fixing up at some point. Uh, but there's a number of ways that I can do that, so I'm not too worried. Um, I have plenty of blocks still, so let's build ourselves a walkable path through this place and see if other monsters start to appear. Uh, it sounds like there are other monsters. Uh, there's a witch over there. Got it. I think the witch spawner might have been the one in the center, and so this might have just been a leftover monster as opposed to a new monster, which would be... Okay, I definitely saw that. Okay, can't get far enough over there just yet. I'm going to back up, shoot some guys, some gals. Okay, and we're actually in good shape. All right, let's do continue the uh, walkable walkway, though. And... Oh, are the spiders actually slowed down by the soul sand? I guess I haven't really interacted with all that many mobs in soul sand any time recently in Minecraft. I guess it makes sense. Like, pretty much everything gets slowed down in soul sand, I suppose. And let's try to hold on to the bow while I collect some of this experience to do a little bit of repairs on the bow. Ah, there's a skeleton over there. That's not what I needed to see right now. Because I really want to get to the spawner soon. Uh, light. Pick. Great. Okay. Uh, experience bottles and potions of some description. I wonder what type of potions these are. Uh, instant health. Uh, there's another strength potion. I should totally just take that. Strength. And regen I don't need right now. Sugar I don't need right now. It seems like it may have gotten quiet. There's probably at least one more spawner in a corner over here. But if it's only one spawner, I feel comfortable enough walking on soul sand now. And perhaps it's zero spawners? I think that's unlikely. I think there's probably at least one more. And also, what is in here? Like, was there an objective in this area? Was this just a pit of meanness? I'm not sure. Here is the aforementioned spawner, which I walked right past previously. Um, there's some experience. Oh, there's something on the floor. I just saw it. So there is something here, I think. It almost looked like bedrock, honestly. What did I see? Uh, no. I think that might just be like exposed stone of the floor. Was there anything directly underneath the witch spawner in the center? Yes. This might actually be the objective. The node bamboozle objective. Let's make sure that we have a way out. It is. I bet you this is it. All right. Place your bets. Bamboozle or no? No bamboozle! Hooray! Terminate by Crinkles. We've done it. Okay. Um, I'm curious if I try to climb this exactly where it takes me. Oh, there was like a way to walk here from somewhere else. That apparently I'd been. Oh, this is where I was going after the hunters and then I fell in. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all acceptable. All right. Great success. Nice. Nice indeed. Hooray, hooray. Okay. So, let's see. I think we could probably try to stop by the first bamboozle chest and see if that's where I left some ancient debris and possibly see if there's any other... Uh, bits and bobs I might have left behind. Uh, did I ever go in this building? Doesn't look like I have. Let's take a quick look. Uh, it doesn't look like I have. I think I only see the spawner right now. Is there any debris in here that I'm failing to notice? 
let's get rid of the spawner first. Uh, if there was, I definitely don't see it. Yeah, that's just dirt. That's just stone. All right, I think this is just a little decorative side building to finish out the area, which is perfectly acceptable. So yeah, let's head back up to bamboozle chest number one. And let's actually kill you with a sword and then take the experience. Uh, Prankster didn't get a chance to take the experience. You did leave a soul, but I'll grab that. And yeah, then with 31 levels, and we if we get this ancient debris, I think we'd be able to get another piece of netherite armor. Uh, maybe the boots that we could try to enchant with something great. And then we'll hopefully be kind of off to the races in terms of extremely good armor, which will be helpful because this seems to be an extremely difficult area. So it all balances out. Okay, but returning to bamboozle number one. Yeah, I like this area. Um, it was very challenging. It was unusual. It had a bunch of uh, interesting mobs. And yeah, it was relatively unconventional, I feel like, which is one of the things I like the most. Ouch. Gosh darn it. Just a random skeleton coming to cause me to spend even more blocks just trying to climb places. What a guy. All right, did I leave debris in here? I did. So let's take the debris. And yeah, don't need render's note. And this time for variety's sake, let's try taking the shortcut out of here. Well, shortcut, the shortcut back to intersection three, um, which given how long of a walk it was to get here might actually be a shortcut back home as well. So the question is from here, and I'll get some ender pearls on the bar in case they could help speed things up. Do we have an easy and fast way to get back to somewhere that I know? Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Like if I walk across here, I'll also get some speed back once I get this bit of soul. Assuming there aren't any traps right through this area. Yeah, this goes back through one of the obelisks. Yeah, we could walk back this way and get over there. That would totally work. All right, so we get some different scenery on the way back. And I don't remember why this was here. I guess the first time I came through here, I might have gone another direction, and so I placed that in order to remember that it was... No, I think I placed it on the way out to remember that it was a place that I had completely finished up. Okay, rather than go through here, can I ender pearl out somewhere better? <laughs> I just want the fastest path back home. I wonder, since I have a diamond pick, let's just see what happens if we break through the side of the obelisk here. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, uh, well, we could be right in front of some lava. Yeah, the entrance is kind of over there. Could I hit this from here? It's extremely dangerous, but that can always be fun at possible end of episode. Totally landed it. Perfect. All right. So this will bring us back to where we originally came in, to the Obelisks of Inversion. And this is right by intersection three, and intersection three is right by the uh, monument area. So we are in great shape. All right. So I guess for the YouTubers, um, I presumably have enough netherite now that I will be able to make another piece of netherite gear. So in the next episode, you can probably expect me to be wearing some more of that. And for the Twitch people, stick around and we'll put something on the monument and deal with our gear a bit.